This little girl, pink board, big smile, dreamed of one day growing up to become an X Games gold medalist. And one day came, just one day after, her 13th birthday. She's utilizing every piece of the course. I just want to get my run and then have fun. The youngest gold medalist in X Games history. We're not talking some age group category. I was so nervous, like all the girls were all nervous. We're talking the big leagues against full grown athletes, the Women's Skateboard Park event. Wow, sticking her entire run. Aged 13. They say never meet your heroes. She beat them. They must be slightly annoyed. I don't think that. When I was younger, those were like, the, they were the top girls that I would always look up to and now I'm competing with them and I respect them and, you know, we're just a big friendly family. The greatest birthday gift in the world. I think that they love her and want to hug her and then they want to smack her around a little bit. Right, Zoiner! Oh my God! Becomes the youngest to ever win an X Games gold medal. She won and the extreme sports world's jaw dropped. And there's like uh, little kids like saying like, oh, I saw you on YouTube and then it's like, it's kind of crazy for it to me. It's like, I don't know, like I'm 13 and it's kind of weird. So here's the gold medal right here. In her bedroom next to more normal tween trappings. I love my makeup. <laughs> so here are my diaries right here. Oh God, this is really cringy. So Why are you being so cringy about this? Why are you? I don't know. <laughs> my dad's mammoth family trip. But not everything here at home is, is so oh, normal. Off. Judging by your backyard, your parents are quite supportive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a half pipe? Yeah, no big deal. But yeah, I skate this like every day. We often refer to it as like the field of dreams. They built it and they came from local kids here in Encinitas, California, to all time legend Tony Hawk, ripping it up for a Thrasher magazine feature. They've all skated here. She got to meet and skate with the best. Brighton Zoyner got into skateboarding because her big brother Jack was into skateboarding and she was dragged to the park. I think when I was about like eight, that's when it all started, so everything happened at eight, but um, I was scared to drop in on ramps like this. Not anymore. Didn't take long before she was beating brother Jack in competition. Yeah, she's kind of a natural. Kind of a natural, you think? I wasn't. Oh, really? That's not no. true. That's no, not I, true. I wasn't. I don't really care. Really? Yeah. I would care I... massively. <laughs> massively. In her first competition, just eight years old, she beat Jack, came in fourth amongst a hundred boys. There weren't many girls only competitions back then. You guys are still friends? Oh yeah. Everything's good? Yeah. He's better than me at some stuff in like street stuff and you know, I kind of own the whole, you know, contest thing. Jack has become a cameraman often filming little sis. She skates hours every day. Why skateboarding, not, I don't know, softball or ballet? Just the freedom you get and you can kind of, I know it sounds cheesy, but like escape. She now travels the world, coming up Shanghai and Rio. It's cool, you know, getting those stamps on my passport. We go with. That's usually good for them. It keeps them grounded, keeps them out of trouble. Which means school. The school that they, they attend now is uh, very open to a schedule that allows kids to travel the world or, or just not be present all the time in school. Skating is occasionally a, a kind of contact sport. <laughs> Skateboarding teaches people about pain. One time I was on a, I was skating a vert ramp in a demo. I did a trick going backwards and then I slipped out and hit my lip on my braces and then I had to like sort of like pull my lip out of my braces and it hurt so bad. It's in the back of your mind that you know when she's trying things that have a higher degree of difficulty and there's a chance that it could go wrong it crosses your mind. Her list of firsts is long. Youngest female to ever compete in the X Games at 11. Youngest ever Vans US Open winner. Youngest female winner of California State Games Athlete of the Year. There's like stereotypes that only boys can do it and it's a manly sport. And honestly, the girls have proven that we can share the sport. In an extreme sport historically dominated by grown men with nicknames like the Birdman and the flying tomato, she blazes a trail. 
The first female skateboarder ever sponsored by Red Bull, arguably extreme sports most sought after patron. Size extra small. Yes, <laughs> even though I have a really big head. Her sport will be an Olympic sport at Tokyo in 2020 for the first time ever. She will be, my math is terrible, is it? 16? It's scary that she's going to be driving. Are you going to be there? I mean, I hope so. Fingers crossed. That's going to be, that's going to push skateboarding. This is a ridiculous question, but what do you want to be when you grow up? I think I just want to, I want to make a living off of skateboarding and, you know, me just see where it takes me. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Encinitas, California. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.